Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss sample size determination. A sample, denoted as small letter n, is a selection of respondents for a research study to represent the total population. Total population, denoted as capital letter n. So, reasons for the use of sample. So, ano ba yung mga dahilan kung bakit... Uh, Samples lang yung gagamitin natin instead yung total populations. Number one, a sample saves time when compared to a full census which take more time. Number two, a sample saves money because it is less expensive than conducting a full census. Number three, a sample allows for more focused attention to a variety of elements than a census does. Number four, inexperienced interviewers cause more error in reporting census results. In a survey, there is less sampling error. And number five, some industry research studies may only be conducted on a subset of the items. For instance, uh, let's say you're going to determine the life of a battery. So, before you can calculate or compute the sample size, you must first determine the target population and the sample size you require. First, the population size. So, what is the population size? So, how many people fall into your demographic in total? For example, yung target mo lang is yung uh, sa school nyo. Let's say, nakapokus ka lang sa isang strand. Let's say, yung STEM. Uh, yung buong STEM, yun yung total population. Kunin mo yung total population ng STEM, identify mo yun. And then from that, uh, after identifying kung ano yung target population mo, so doon ka ngayon kukuha ng samples. So a population, again, denoted as capital letter N, is made up of members of a group that a researcher is interested in studying. These members of a group usually share or have similar characteristics. Next is the margin of error or the confidence interval. So there will be no perfect samples, of course, uh, kaya nagsiset tayo ng confidence level. So in research, the allowable error margin is referred to as the margin of error. So a 95% confidence interval yields a margin of error of 5%. So, kapag 98% yung confidence interval, so, yung margin of error natin ay 2%. Kapag 99% yung confidence level, so, ibig sabihin, 1% yung margin of error natin. The confidence level indicates how certain you are. So, you can be 95% certain, if you have a confidence level of 95%. So, itong tatlo na to ay gagamitin natin to compute or to calculate the sample size. So, may gagamitin tayong formula to compute the sample size. And that is this uh, Slovin's formula. The Slovin's formula so is used to calculate sample size in study given the total population and the margin of error. So, ito lang yung kailangan natin para makompute natin yung Slovin formula. Okay? So, kailangan alam natin yung total population and the margin of error. So, by using this formula, where N, or yung small letter N natin is the sample size, capital letter N is the total population, at yung E natin is the margin of error. Okay, let's try this problem. A group of senior high school students want to conduct a survey. Find the sample size if the margin of error is 5% and the population of a mega senior high school is 6,000. So, uh, kagaya rin ang ginagawa natin sa problem solving. First, let us, let us identify the given uh, value. So, ano given natin? Of course, the total population is 6,000 and then the margin of error is 5%. So, i-convert na natin into decimal. So, 5% pag kinonvert sa decimal is 0 0.05. And then, apply natin yung formula. Substitute all the given sa ating formula. 
So, yung capital letter N, that is the total population. So, 6,000 all over 1 plus 6,000 times 0 0.05 squared. So, ang unang gagawin nyo dito, class, ang unang yung i-compute ito, kunin nyo muna yung 0 0.05 squared. And 0 0.05 squared is 0 0.0025. And then after natin makuha yan, imumultiply natin yung sagot natin dito sa 6,000. So, 6,000 times 0 0.0025. The answer is 15. Then may 1 pa tayo. I-add natin yung 1. So, that is 16. So, 6,000 divide 16. The answer is 375. So, yung kakailanganin o yung gagamiting samples or number of respondents na kukunin ng uh, researchers or yung group of senior high school students is 375 from 6,000 with a margin of error of 5%. Another, suppose you intend to conduct a study with 500 students from the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand with a margin of error of 2%, how many respondents are required? So first, the total population is 500 and the margin of error is 2%. So, i-convert co natin into decimal. That is 0 0.02. So, by using the formula, substitute 500 all over 1 plus the quantity of 500 times 0 0.02 squared. So, again, ito muna yung uunahin natin. So, 0 0.02 squared is 0 0.004. Okay, so 0 0.004 times 500, so what is the answer? Okay, pwede nyo akong sabayan using your calculator. Okay, and that is 0 0.2. So 500 times 0 0.004 is 0 0.2 plus 1, so that is 1.2. 500 divide 1.2, the answer is 416.67. Since ang pinag-uusapan kasi natin dito is sample or respondents, tao kasi yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, wala namang 0.67. So, you need to convert into whole number. So, 416, ira-round up natin. 416.67 magiging 470 na. So, the number of respondents na kakailanganin nung um, researchers from 500 is 417. Okay, test yourself. So, pwede nyo i-post mo na yung video and then sagutan. So, the given population is 10,000 and uh, ito yung mga given na margin of error. So, pwede nyo i-post yung video sa kasagutan yung kung ano yung sample size. Alright, for 1%, if the total population is 10,000 and the margin of error is 1,000, ilang sample size kaya? So, 5,000. At kapag yung margin of error is 2% with the total population of 10,000, ilang sample size? Yes, 2,000. And then kapag 3% naman, ang margin of error with the total population of 10,000, ano yung sample size? Okay, 1,000. And then kapag 4%, and then the total population is 10,000, ilan yung sample size? 588 and last so 5% that is 385 okay so if you get a perfect score you may share sa comment section ng video na to. thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial this is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Walmart channel.